Hi, in today's video, I'm going to show you more ways how to optimize and fit within 10 megabytes uh, your Quest avatar. These are two things that I learned recently, uh, and that's why they weren't put in the part one tutorial. If you haven't watched it, uh, you can watch it. I'm going to link it in the description. So this is basically an addition to uh, the basic knowledge. So currently you can see how this avatar is 12 megabytes, which is more than 10, which is the limit for Quest. So I'm going to show you what we can do that I didn't know before to lessen the file size. So I'm just going to drag this away. And this avatar is using basically three textures, one uh, atlas square, one rectangle atlas, and a matcap. And rectangles are by the way pretty good. I recommend using them for sure. So now VRChat forces um, ASTC format of textures uh, for Android. Apparently it's the most optimized. That's why they did, they're doing it. And to set up um, this compression to what we want it to be, we have to uh, select our texture, go into the Android tab right here, by default you're here and you change the quality here, but for Android you're gonna click here, you're gonna override for Android, you're gonna set the compressor quality to best, and you're gonna change the ASTC block to six, uh, from 6x6 to 8x8, and also sometimes you can do 10x10 if 8x8 is not enough. The more, the bigger the number on the blocks, the more compressed it is. So I'm just gonna do 8x8, I'm gonna apply. And I'm gonna do it for my uh, other texture here. So I'm gonna do compressor best and compress block to 8x8, I'm gonna apply. And I'm gonna try uploading my avatar again. So I'm gonna build and publish. And in the last video, I showed you how you can get the PC build of the avatar um, VRCA file, you can put it in the asset bundle website to analyze which part of the avatar takes how much space and, well, and all that. Um, link in the description to the asset bundle website, by the way. And in this video, I'm going to show you the same thing. But I found out you can actually get the Android builds, like literally what I'm building right now for Android, I can get the VRCA from my computer and put it into the website. So let's see if it uploads first. And it did upload. So we did lessen the size by more than two megabytes. So now um, we open the asset bundle stand website. I'm gonna open two, I'm gonna explain later why. Uh, and look at this. So this folder, I'm gonna put the location in uh, description as well. This is going to be the name of the user of your computer. And the last, thing is uh, the folder that's your project name basically and you can find the vrca here and all these are quest builds so i'm going to put the last one into the website which is uh, this one and you can see how the textures take this much almost one megabyte which is cool and in the other window i'm going to put the previous one so we can see the difference so on the right we can see Without the Android override, how much our textures take, which in this first atlas, this is the square, it's 3.4, and after the compression, it's 0 0.6, which is a significant 2.8 megabytes difference, it's really big. So, um, you can see the difference pretty well. In the rectangle, it's only 0 0.2, but it still counts. And you have to use ASTC anyway, so you might as well, right? So, there's that, you can see the difference, it went from 13.2 to 10.3 which seems good enough for VR chat and if it would not be enough you could uh, try setting the block to uh, 10x10 so in this video you learned how to change the uh, texture compression for Android for the best compression and uh, quality you can and also you learn how to find your VRCA files that you build request and put them into the asset bundle website oh this is the color theory but uh, this is the asset bundle website like and subscribe if it helped you you can write me a comment if it helped you and i'll see you in the next video